to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY showing you guys how to make your very own scrunchies at home. I like scrunchies because I go to work and I'm very limited on what I can do with my hair. And sometimes it's just adding a little scrunchie just adds a little bit of color and a little bit of pop. And scrunchies can be kind of expensive. Plus these are really great gifts if you want something that you can make that's really inexpensive for someone. That's something that they really like though. This is something you should definitely make. So anyway, let's get started. For this DIY you're going to need fabric, hot glue sticks, a hot glue gun, a jar or something to wrap your hair tie around, scissors, and of course a hair tie. So the first thing you do, you're going to cut some fabric, um, depending on how scrunchy you want it. I like mine pretty scrunchy, so I cut about 5 inches by 20. I just don't really measure this out, I just eyeball it. And then from here, you're just going to add a little bit of hot glue to the good side of it, and then you're going to wrap the other end around it, so that way the bad side or the lighter side is kind of on the outside of it. And here's what that looks like. And then you're just going to wrap that completely around your jar and then put your hair tie over it. I like to stretch out my hair tie just a little bit beforehand. That way when you're trying to glue everything together, it doesn't uh, tear up too easily or get too tough. Alright, so you're going to fold one small end over at the bottom side, add a little bit of hot glue, and then you're going to fold a little bit over on the top. And you're just going to glue together, and this is going to kind of look, the reason why you're doing it like this is to make it look like there's no seam, like it's seamless, like you would sew it, but instead of having to take all that time to sew it, we're just going to use it with hot glue. Um, I'm going to show you again right here, and then you're just going to keep doing this around the entire side. Um, if you have, if you notice that there's a lot of fabric in one place, you can just move it around, that way it's not as close together. Just kind of keep doing this until you finish up and you see no more open spots. And then remove it from your jar, and before you put in your hair or use it, you want to let it at least completely harden or dry for at least 5 minutes, but as you can see, it's pretty scrunchy. You can adjust the amounts of fabric depending on how scrunchy you'd like it. These other ones that I've made, this one's probably my favorite, and of course, the more fabric you have, the more scrunchy it'll be. I'll show you an example of one that doesn't have a lot of fabric. This one here didn't have a lot of fabric, so as you can see, it's not very scrunchy looking. Plus, there's a little bit of um, fabric on it. But, again, the more fabric you have, the more scrunchy it is. And you can use, of course, any color of fabric you like. You can mix and match and do multiple colors. So that way you have, like, three in your hair. And you can do, like, for July 4th, I knew some that did red, white, and blue. So, this is something really customizable. And, again, this is such a great gift to give someone. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel down below. Comment your video ideas. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!